guys we're on the clock it's your boy caleb back again with quentin julian for another back. week of goonery um this time we have a little something different a little something out of the woodworks we haven't done a draft since i think last summer i mean since, since, the, since the beginning since the beginning of all this um nah. so i figured we would do a little draft this is inspired um by kenny beecham king of the fourth quarter like a slightly, I think he did like a, a YouTube video like this where he combined like two role players. I think one of them was like Steven Adams and something else or something. I don't know. But I figured we would turn into a more fleshed out idea and do um a little draft with it. So we're each we just generated a draft order. I'm gonna be going first, Joan will be going second, and Quinn will be going third. Um, and we'll each be picking uh two role players, but more specifically, we'll be picking an aspect of their game, skill set, um, physical presence, any any of those, you know, three kind of areas of the player. Um, for each of the two players, we'll pick one and we'll combine, and that'll be uh, the player that we'll be drafting. So we'll each be taking five role players to draft from, and, um, you know, each pick will be a combination of two players, and then we'll each be picking three rookies which would be a combination of two rookies so in total we're kind of going through you know 16 players i guess in theory but really you're drafting eight players that will then take 2k and do a simulation so a little podcast connected to a youtube video so if you're here from youtube go listen to the podcast all right let's begin i uh i wait first any nba talk that we want to get into there's nothing really going on um, did you guys see that uh, Clay Thompson and Paul George podcast? I didn't see it, but I heard the aftermath. It's so funny, dude. It's a really yeah, good I'm podcast. Yeah, I watched it, and like Clay was, I guess some something something got brought up about that time where he like flashed, oh, I got four rings versus D Book because he was getting fried by D Book, um, in that game. And then I think Booker must like not like Paul George. So, like, there was some comment where it's like, oh, thanks, bro, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I just – I love the antics. I think I think all the Warriors guys like to stir the pot around the league a little bit. I think especially Draymond does. But I think oh, yeah. Clay – I can tell Clay's jokes, bro. He's complete he's a, jokes. He's a sneaky trash talker. Like, you don't know how elevated his trash talking game is until you, like, hear it. And then, like, you're like, oh, snap, Clay, like, Clay's learned a little something, something from Draymond Green, bro. Yeah, Clay, Clay's nice with the talk. He's definitely a funny guy as well. Um, you get a t- good taste of his personality from that podcast, I think. But I thought it was funny. It was, like, pretty much the only uh, only notable thing that I've seen with basketball in the last couple of days. I don't know. Just kind of getting ready for the college basketball season. I know me and Julian are itching for that to start. Speaking of college basketball and kind of the theme of the video. Lock in the Scalabrine jersey today. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Big ups to the boy Scal. How, how much was that and what Chinese website can I get it? <laughs> um it was, this was a hundred bucks from like a jersey, like ninety-nine jerseys or something like that. So yeah. Yeah, they ninety-nine. Yeah, I can't say what I was gonna say, but yeah. A lot of people working in the shop to make <laughs> you terrible, bro. We're <laughs> <laughs> PC boys. <laughs> they all know Brian's covering. Stop, 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 stop. stop. This, right. PC. <laughs> this is this walking a fine line. <laughs> all right, to start. This is early on, okay, in the pod. We can't have uh, this type of stuff going on. How about some all role right. players? Yeah, let's let's get into drafting some <laughs> role players. Um, do you guys have the doc? So, I'm gonna go me. Yep. Um, Julian, and then Quint. All right, with my first combination of players that I'm going to select, I'm going to take, I think, like, I'd be 
I think this player will just be a funny combination. To be honest, I really want to see how it works out, and I want to secure that I'll get both these players. So I'm going to take Bowl Bowl's size. Oh, you, I knew you would do that. With Cam Thomas's, like, uh, bag. Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. Like his uh, his uh, shooting off the dribble, kind of his pull-up game. So I'm going to take Bowl Bowl with a little bit of a handle and uh, some shooting. But I guess 7-2 version of basically Cam Thomas. Essentially. I am going to take the ultimate 3 and D player. I am going to take Luke Kennard shooting. Keep in mind, Luke Kennard shot 50% from the field from three. And Matisse Stiebel's perimeter defense. Okay. Um, Luke Kennard and Matisse Thibel. Nice. Nice little... I got my one three and D player. He's gonna shoot everything. He's gonna defend everyone. It's gonna be great. Ooh, can I can I get mine? Yep. You get to oh, take two back to back. Oh man, okay, that's a lot of pressure. Ooh. Well, I'm saying my for my first for my picks, I'm gonna go Janner. I'm gonna go Jared Vanderbilt defensive versatility and the size he brings, and I'll get some Malik Monk shot creation in there. You're looking at basically the best three and D wing you could possibly have. And, um, yeah, he was, like, he's an intimidating defender. Like, I feel like he can pretty much guard up on anybody. And he's just, I don't know, there's a, something about that versatility. And just having a bigger version of Malik Monk on the other end would just make him, you know, you need to have that type of guy in your roster. All NBA talent for sure. Okay. Yeah, it'll be kind of like a bigger version of Malik Monk with um a little bit of a, you know, switch why defense, better interior defense, and a little bit better perimeter defense, essentially. Basic why. But just a little okay. bit. Julian, so, type in your picks or whatever. I don't want to have okay. to do it for you. All right, you get to pick again, Quint. Oh, nice. Let's do and this. Just, you see how I formatted it? You just got to kind of do one. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to go bear with me now. This guy is technically the fourth most used player on his team, so I can pick him. We're going to go the god, Michael Porter Jr. Oh, come on. For his catch-and-shoot abilities and frame, and we're going to add something you that he doesn't. You can't have his catch-and-boot and frame. This is, but they come together, you know? That's no, how it gets. You get to take. You get to take. I'm One taking or the other. You get you got away with Jared Vanderbilt's frame and defensive versatility. Oh wait, but okay, so I'll take the combined frame between these two players. So we got um, MP yeah, that's what you get in between. Insane catch and shooter, probably the best. I think he's the most efficient uh, spot up shooter in the NBA right now. And we're gonna add some grit. We're gonna add some Josh Hart level grit, which he, he's on another planet when it comes. Josh to Hart that. level grit. There's so many better grit players you get to take. Oh no 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 no. A hundred percent. and I'm gonna laugh. So we're not gonna do that, but. Uh, Josh Hart, man, he just, you know, he every single game to him is game seven. He could be playing against G Leaguers or he'd be playing at a church game, a charity event. He will be putting, he will be throwing bodies to the ground. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. Love you, Josh Hart. Um, got to think on this one. Let me find my center. I think it's Give, like Quint hasn't taken a player that's like a comp, even a pl- one part of a player that's on my big board. <laughs> big board? Yeah, I have a big board. Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> it's pick, over my for picks, you. My, my picks must suck. Give Not me sure. Jared Vanderbilt's a good pick, and so is uh Porter Junior's good. Sorry, I don't want to take Poku with the first overall pick. I Give mean, me I'm about to take Poku's frame with the next pick. Oh man. Uh, you're going to be out of luck, buddy. Are you taking him right now? Give me give me Steven Adams strength with Poku's playmaking. <laughs> Poku's playmaking? Damn. Yeah. That's going to be tough. That's my center. <laughs> Bro, he does have two assists per game. That's pretty good. I mean, if you watch him play, that man is an absolute playmaking god. Yeah. And and then really? okay, his his animations are good. You'll get like his animations. So you just basically get a yoked Poku with the in between height of uh interesting. Yeah, pretty much I'm just gonna get a Poku who is just gonna bully people. 
Quint didn't know that Poku knew how to dribble the ball until you <laughs> brought that up. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's like it's about the two K ratings, Quint. You don't have to think too hard about it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take Boban's size, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna take Trey Murphy's shooting. Oh my god! To create the <laughs> ultimate stretch four to go alongside my shot creating bull bull. <laughs> <laughs> um and then I need to get a player who can kind of fill in the gaps here, probably do a little bit of playmaking. Um so I think uh never mind. Screw that. I think I'm gonna take Kavon Looney's rebounding and pair it with um Joe Harris's shooting. Oh fudge. That's a good pick. Yeah. So I'm getting like a re I'm getting like another big guy who can rebound. I'll probably play the Bull Bull Cam Thomas at the three and get this Kavon Looney um Joe Harris combo. Is that you picked two, right? Yeah. Oh fuck. So I got like a little, I got like a little trio of uh, shooters and shot creators to build that around, and I got some, I got some defensive guys to take out of the woodwork. Give me, um, huh? Okay. Uh, I need to find a shooter. Give me Nerland's Noel size and um, let me get ooh huh give me Joe Engel shooting still alive <laughs> what <laughs> Wait, Dude. you're wild. Uh, I gotta, gotta uh, it's a Nerlens Noel that can shoot. Yeah, I know. It's that's a dub. <laughs> Nerlens Noel. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a that's all right. I mean, we'll have to see how that goes. Combining some skill set. Nerlens Noel. Nerlens Noel. It'll probably be Joe Ingles with no, Nerlens Noel size mostly, and like higher rebounding. Dude, I would love like, a tall Joe Ingles. My one of my buddies is a big Joe Ingles fan. I feel like I feel like that player would just like spit flower seeds at you, like that would be his attack, just like really high up. That'd be part <laughs> what? of that. I'm, I'm just so- talking like, from the analytics side. All right, um, Quint, you're up. You get two picks. All right, I'm a for my nuclear pick sponsored by Oppenheimer. We're going to go with Brook Lopez defense and Austin Reeves off the dribble shooting slash ability to draw whistles from all three officials at the same exact time. Wait, are we considering Brook Lopez a role player? Yeah. Okay. I'd say so. All right. 16 points, six and a half rebounds a game. Yeah, he's a role player. It flies. It's a good pick. I'm I'm paying homage to when uh, Austin Reeves drew like as many three throws per game as James Harden did in his peak in order for the Lakers to reach the play in. That was really a special time in, in basketball. You have another pick? Oh word, I do have another pick. So we're gonna go with um the beast from down under, Ben Simmons. We're going to take his athletic tool. He's not a role player. We said that at the start of the video. Bro, he averages like five points a game. Yeah, but he gets paid like a superstar because they thought he was going to. Russell Westbrook, well, Russell Westbrook was a role player last year. and he... But he's not a role player. Like, God. Okay. We're, let's find another. He is a marquee name. We're ta- There's no name. The biggest name that we've drafted here yet is Michael Porter Jr. 
Okay, I'm going to go – I was going to go – no, I'm not going to say. I'm, this is a fake pick. I was going to go with Isaiah Stewart's aggressiveness, but I realized that wouldn't be a good pick. So we're going to go. <laughs> that's messed up. This is the type of shit that's going on YouTube right here. These <laughs> clips. Flip that, Caleb. Let's Flip rock that. Bobby Portis's eyes just when whenever he does anything on the court. Um, and then we'll, we'll add that. We'll add Derek Tool. Derek, no, we're gonna add Derek White's bag, and here do. Is, you do know scary. that he shaved his head bald, right? I know. Is That's Derek crazy. Jones still in the NBA? Yeah. Derek Jones Jr. Like, that Derek can't be White. serious. You're not taking Bobby Portis's eyes. Okay, <laughs> I want to say, <laughs> dude, he's just got. No, he's just intimidating, or something. He looks so <laughs> happy though. You want Bobby Portis's like an intimidation factor? I'll give him higher. I'll no, give no, no. Whoever no. else is higher. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Taller. Uh, actually, you know what? We're just gonna take. Um, we'll take DeAndre in his bum ass, um, and then Derek White's shot creation. DeAndre who? DeAndre in. DeAndre He's a role player. Yeah, role player. Is he what? DeAndre Ayton's not a role player. I'm sure he is. <laughs> Quint, what are you talking about? Yo, this can is I go the here? type of stuff is why we did this podcast, for these type of conversation. DeAndre Ayton's not a role player, Quint. <laughs> well, who who ranks higher on usage? What is it, KD? Well, okay, he's the fourth option. He's a low-end oh, starter. Dude. Is Jarrett Allen a role player? <laughs> Because he's DeAndre technically Aiden, DeAndre option. Aiden, when he gets the touches, is borderline, borderline 20 and 10, dude. Like, what are you talking about, role player? Oh, You're okay, I got it. I got it. I got Bobby it. We're going to go. his eyes no, no, to no, taking no. out DeAndre <laughs> Aiden. That was, like, your second option? No, no, no. Because he, he kind of <laughs> like, he gives you that look, like, where you feel like, you know, he's a crack and he might do something. Yeah, I know the look. I know the look. <laughs> But like that was your pick over. I think that'll be enough for like half of your players to run away. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Mitchell Robinson defense side. I'll just go. We'll go Mitchell Robinson side. Protection. That's what you're. You said defense size. Both those things equate to rim protection. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take uh, Mitchell Robinson's rim protection and. Um, yeah, we'll take Derek White's shooting stroke. Pause. Okie doke. All right, this is going to be a good one. Give me Davis Breton shooting with Derek Jones Jr. athleticism. Okay. That's, oh, that's actually, dang. That's, actually, that's good. He might, he might be tough. He that's a good player, bro. Okay. I am going to take... Herb Jones with Jordan Clarkson's scoring ability. Oh, that's a good pick. So I was Jones I was thinking defense. about Herb Jones. Herb Jones's defense with Jordan Clarkson's scoring. I, like you guys are uh, I guess it would be like his scoring bag, I guess. Just the same but, thing as Cam Thomas is scoring off the dribble. And then for my last pick, I'm going to take Alex Caruso's defense. With Aaron Gordon's vertical spacing. Oh, that's good. Using my vocab, I like that. Yep. It's a good pick. All right. Um, I'm up again. Do I have a point guard on this team? I don't, but I think I'm gonna rely on my bench for some guard depth. I have a lot of I have a lot of scores with like crazy size and a couple good three and D players like Car- Caruso, Aaron Gordon will probably play the three, or like the two, and will be like a just a like a like a rim running lob threat with like All absolute right. clamps on the perimeter. You ready? Yeah, this player's ridiculous. Um, give me Javale McGee size with Emmanuel quickly. Heard. What'd you say? With Emmanuel quickly scoring package. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Okay. That's gonna be hilarious. I'm definitely gonna take Javale McGee and give him Emmanuel quickly his like handles, his animations. Like I'm gonna get in depth with it. Like I'll I'll pick the animations. I'll do everything like that. Yeah, I'll say this: you guys are sleeping on, you know, a seven foot tall Derek White. Like I feel like that'd be a pretty good player. 
I mean, that's kind of my, I basically, I have a seven foot tall Emmanuel quickly. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, I have a seven foot tall quickly. Cam Thomas and a seven foot five tall Trey Murphy. Like, I, I also have a type of guy that's going to like, like really ever improve. Who? What? That was kind of short sighted. But I would say, like, his, like, he's, he's got, got a scoring back. Yeah, but like all he does is floaters it and throws it over the tall people. Like that's his thing. Oh, nice. so, Quickly, he can score off the dribble. Yeah, I feel like he's just yeah. No, 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 no. You haven't picked yet. Fuck you. I'm changing my pick. I'm taking Maxi's score. No, Maxi's not a role player. What? Maxi's the best player on the Celtics or whatever. Yeah, he's one of the best players on, on the Celtics. Celtics? Oh. So like, like I think Celtic. I think by Iron far Iron. the best three players that we've taken so far have been Eric Gordon, Aaron Gordon, not Eric, Brooke Lopez, and Michael Porter Jr. And then I think Jared Vanderbilt's up there, Derek White's up there. Um, you know, I think we're doing a good job of keeping it role player based. All right. But Maxie's not a role player, neither is DeAndre Ayton. Especially right. when players are that young. Like, Trey Murphy's a defined role player. Herb Jones is a defined role player. Trey Murphy's a shooter. Herb Jones is a defender. You know? All right, fine. I'm going to change it to Jaden Hardy scoring package. Who? Jaden Hardy. Yeah, if I said Jaden Did you say who? I think that's a better – I think that's a better scoring package. plays for the Dallas Mavericks. For. I think that's a better scoring package to go for. Second round He's got, last year was a rookie this past year. Caleb, I think Jaden Hardy has a Played more the G League ignite. He's got a more complete bag, as they say, than uh He's like a seventy one overall. Good all luck. Right, fine, I'll, fine, I'll fucking stay with quickly. Fuck <laughs> I would stay with quickly. I would stay with quickly. Um all, all right. right. Clint, you're up with the final pick. Of the like first round, I guess, and you'll start off the second round with the. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So okay, you have a this. chance to have whatever piece of Wemby's game you want. Oh, oh man, cool. If you did like Wemby size, scoots, like speed, like. Jesus oh Christ! God. That's just not fair. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I'm okay, never mind. I'm. I'm okay, well, for, for the last myself. for my last pick, I'm just gonna keep it simple. Best players in the board. We're gonna go, uh, Norman Powell shot creation and. Jaden McDaniel's defense. And that guy just got like reportedly two inches taller. Now I'm gonna be like six eleven. So that's so you're basically yeah. just building a more creative Jaden McDaniels. No. Well take? think about this. Think of how good Norman Powell is, like for his size, and then make like and then give him like a six nine player's like defensive ability and like size. Did you just so you're basically you're taking a taller him? three and D player than the guy that you already have. Well, Norman Powell isn't he? You took his defense and you took Jaden McDaniel's no. defense. No, opposite. No, I took Norman Powell's shot creation. The guy averages like seventeen points a game off the bench. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> decent. And then yeah. Jaden McDaniel's defense. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Appreciate you. Yeah, that just kind of seems like basically a shorter uh, Jaden. McDaniels. Jaden McDaniel's is a dub. That's a dub. No, because he might be. I think Jaden McDaniel's is kind of like. He'll be a borderline. I wanted to take him over Herb Jones, but I kind of like the idea of Herb Jones and Jordan Clarkson kind of running. I mean, I like one. I'm not criticizing it because I think Jade, but I just think Jade McDaniels is like already a very good role player, like as he is. (laughs) Yeah, we're just going to get his like his offense way up because Norman Powell is probably the best, is one of the best offensive role players at his position. Like, I don't know many shooting guards. Oh, let's see. I guess Derek White. Derek White, Austin Reed, Josh Hart are up there. Um, yeah, I don't know who else. Unless, I mean, he, eh, yeah, he's kind of a point guard, though. Um, and then who else? No, KCP, no, no. KCP is a good two guard. Um, I'm Melton, not buying I, this Jordan Clarkson that point guard. I would not. You, pick. you know they don't have to play the same position, right? Yeah, they can play any position. These guys will. Like, you'll give me kind of your lineup or whatever at the end. We'll come up can with we go, names. Can we go John Wall availability and Russell Westbrook shooting touch? John Wall what? That's, a, like, John the Wall. worst role player of all time. <laughs> John Wall availability and, you know, enthusiasm. 
and and Westbrook shooting touch and <laughs> this is the worst role player of all time. Look at yeah, the evil I, in his I, eyes. I feel like that's my he first. wants to ruin souls, Quinn. <laughs> like that'd be my first pick. If I if I could have done anything, that would have I should have done. It. Okay, are you gonna actually take a player now or no? No, I yeah, I already picked Norman Powell and Jaden McDaniels. Yeah, yeah. Type it in, type it in. My bad. Yeah, I got you. Um, and then do your first rookie combination. Ugh. I hate this. Oh, man, we're going to go uh, – <laughs> I wish I, I could just do one person to do Wemby, but um, you, you kind of gave me this layup, so I th- – oh, hmm. I know what I'm taking first. Yeah, I do too. I, I want to be – there. I like, I think I want to take one of my favorite players off the board. Well, we're obviously taking Wemby's size. That's a given. And then we're going to add – we're going to get – I probably spelled his name wrong. We're going to add Eamon Thompson's – just like overall scoring bag and like speed. He's not a scorer, but okay. That's fine. So you're Thompson. Taking a, wait, are you taking a scoring bag or a speed? No, I'll go, I'll go Eamon Thompson playmaking. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I like that's, that. That's valid. That's way, that's way better. Because I don't want to do like the scoot one. I feel that's like, I don't want to like kill that. I'd rather have somebody else compliment him better. Yeah. All right. You ready for this? Yeah. Scoots. Athletic scoots, um, scoring with Anthony Black. No, scoots burst with Anthony Black sides. Ooh, I. So basically, a tall Scoot Henderson. Yeah, essentially. Um, I am going to go. Damn, I'm thinking. Um. I'll probably go Cam Whitmore's scoring and the Sar Thompson's defense. That's good. That's yeah. a it's a nice little combination. Hmm. Just adding my picks, man. Um, and then I think for my next pick, I am going to take. Brandon Miller's scoring with Derek you said Lively's first, right? rim protection. Fuck. I wanted Lively. Okay, is that was that um yours? Yeah, I got Brandon Miller scoring and Derek Lively rim protection and Cam That's actually scoring. I saw Thompson's defense. Um, give me. No, it's uh, what? Nah, it's me, bro. Do you mean it's your pick? It's my pick. But me, you, Caleb, then me. Caleb, Caleb me. It's Snake, bro. Okay. Go. Do you know how snake drafts work? One, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three. when to pick this whole time. <laughs> All right. I like this next one. Give me Marquise Noel's playmaking with Leonard Miller's sacks. Okay. That's interesting. Quint's got demon time look on his face. Your last two picks of the draft, Quint or Doodle. Go ahead. Um, okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go Chet Holmgren frame. And it's oh a that's a rookie. Not- oh fuck. Damn it. I didn't even think about that. That's a that's a big brain play. As soon as he said it, I was like, oh shit. Oh my god! That's a that's a Thank you so much, Quinn. Oh, I respect god. it. All right, go ahead, slap him in there. Looking at me, he's got such a smug look on his face. <laughs> this is that's that was sneaky. I, I respect it. So he's got Chet looking. and Wemby, basically. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not fair. Sorry. Yeah, he's and got I'm a shot creating Chet Holmgren and a playmaking Victor Wembanyama. I'm just such a casual fan. I didn't think of the like, the you know the end of the second round guys. I was just like, mm, he was Marquise good. Noel and Leonard Miller, dude. You combine no, that's like an... a 67 and like a 72 overall. On yeah, but their best attributes are so nasty. Yeah, I know. No, that's why I didn't want you. I I was like worried because. When I said uh the thing about rookies, you were like Julian, you're like, oh shit. 
and because I thought that was my it would be my pick and I'd get Chet and then I thought you were gonna get Chet and you didn't so I forgot about I forgot Chet's a rookie yep yeah. all right and one nice job went um take another one. Oh, my pick again yeah but... this is your last pick of the draft and then you should start coming up with the names of the players so yeah we're, we're gonna, gonna... Go through the draft again and explain who we picked to remind the people interesting we're gonna go Ooh, let's think about this real quick and you'll set your lineup you'll figure out who's playing what i'm gonna go with um you don't have to you don't have to have the rookies coming off the bench but i would probably prefer that they do no i'm gonna oh shit show, pause um give me one second i think i got something here I met an impasse between these two guys. Pause again. Uh, let's do. Let's do. Okay, we're gonna go Hunter Tyson shooting. And now the suspense is up in the air, and then we're gonna go Dominic Barlow. Grit and rebounding. He's not a rookie. Dominic Barlow is not a rookie. What? It's not Dominic Barlow. Okay, not a never mind. He is never actually mind. not a rookie. And I'll take the other guy. <laughs> I'm going to take my other Denver guy. We're going to go Jalen Pickett. Just himself. <laughs> You're going to do Jalen Pickett's what? His brain. You have to know what he does. His brain. His no, yeah, we're going to take. Yeah, we're going to take his playmaking. Okay, that's a good one. So, and Hunter Tyson shooting. Nice. We know what Tim Quint likes. Give me uh, um fuck me, dude. I gotta think. Give me uh, Gigi Jackson it's an offensive bag with Fucking Jarris Walker's defensive versatility. <laughs> you like, like shot Caleb. Oh my gosh. I was just like, don't take either Gigi Jackson. I couldn't leave him on the board, bro. Because I wanted to take Grady Dick shooting and Jarris Walker's defensive versatility. And I thought that would have been a lock, but I think I'm going to take Grady Dick shooting. You know I'm a Jarris Walker guy. I know you are, and I was I was trying to be sneaky about it. I should have taken him with my last pick. Um, let me think here, because I, I have a moment while you guys assemble your lineups. Decide what position guys are going to play, like your bench, like who's going to be a guard forward. You have to think about what the size of the player will be, kind of. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to take Grady Dix shooting – with Taylor Hendricks defense. It's a good player. It's just a good three and D player. Yeah. I think the this team will just be like absolute shooters. We got shooters. Yeah, I think I, I didn't have a player that didn't get like some form of defense though too, which is good. These are all great overall picks. I bet now now is it heading to the two K sphere? Oh, you're adding positions? That's cool. Yeah, you should. That's why I put the space in between them. Um, yeah, we'll take it to 2K, um, you know, and for right now, and those who are listening to the podcast, it obviously won't be at the moment, but this is where it would cut to then us going through the lineups after we skim through some of the draft stuff as I, you know, go through and edit, like, chop it up. And then we'd skip, you know, the draft, like the, the results, and then uh, go into 2K and I'd show off the rosters. And then I'd go into a game where we'd each play each other once. And the winner of the, you know, three, like whoever has the best record, the round robins will play each other again for the championship, essentially. What if we all go 1-1-1? One, one, and one? Quinn has no guards or centers. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, I didn't know that we had to pick it like that. I, thought this, the, the I mean, era. you don't. I'm just laughing at you for having I thought this is the era of positionless basketball. Yeah, I know, but you hypothetically should, like, kind of think in your head, will this guy play the point guard, shooting guard? 
small forward, a power forward. I'm my big ass point guard. Whoa. You're gonna have Dude, Mitchell fat, Robinson's frame playing the point guard. Fat, fat Poku's gonna play the point. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Give me Did fat. You Poku. Like, bench, though? like, couldn't I make this guy six main? I'm gonna have no rebounding Joe Harris at running the five. Play small ball center and then have Boban Boban with an absolute strap <laughs> from three. Dude, I don't know whether to make uh fat Boku my point guard or my like rebounding center. He's gotta like initiate the offense and get down low to get rebounds. Maybe he'll play like the he's gotta play like a Shangun role. Yeah, I'll have like yeah, he's gonna have to play kind of like a Shangun role at the point. Be interesting. It will be interesting. Um. Okay, Quint, do you want to? Uh, let's come up with some names for these players. Um. Um. I'm thinking oh, yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, I'll come up with names maybe on. Okay. I mean, yeah, I've got again, like combine oh. their their names or something. Oh, Jared Monk. Can I just call my park guard Pat Boku? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Go. Austin Lopez. <laughs> and then, um, so can I name? Can I name my fourth player just White? <laughs> I, I'm white. First I'm and last white. name, <laughs> white. Bro, I'm I'm naming because okay, if you shorten Joe Ingles, it's Jingles, and then Noel. So I'm just gonna call my my Joe Ingles their own Noel play at Christmas. Dude, M- Mitch White jerseys are gonna sell out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. God. Let's go with Lukis. Aiden Powell could be a tough name. Sounds like an empire. Nine yards. Amen. <laughs> I'm calling. I'm calling my Alex Caruso, Aaron Gordon combina- combination the bald eagle. Oh <laughs> <laughs> That's dehumanizing, but might be oh, effective. No, it's going to be beautiful. To my bald brother Alex Crusoe, I love you. You're a dog. We're gonna go. With, so my my team name so far are my player names. We have Luki Stiebel at shooting guard, Fat Poku at point guard, Christmas at small forward, White Men Can Jump at power forward, and Untragic Bronson at center. Peace to the street, street. The street. Yeah, peace to the street. Yeah, but try to make it a first name, last name. Because remember, like, so you can do Chris Mass <laughs> would be. It's a pronounce, pronounce it. It's a French name. He's to the street. <laughs> Wait, you got to make his last, that is last I'm name. Gonna, I'm life. literally going to cut that and it'll, uh, it'll be uh, in the video. When I when That's I great. go through and put the name, it'll that it'll cut in that audio right there. I promise. Nice. I'm I'm liking my roster. Michael Hart Porter's a pretty pretty cool guy. He sounds like he'd be like a Christian fella for no reason. <laughs> no like reason. Just, I feel like he'd like like read the Bible front to back before every game and just like drop forty. And just he would just want to talk to media though. Or maybe he'd like say prayers to the media. Okay. Um, are we about done here? Um, yeah, we're done. Okay. Also for can context on our you come up with the name for your bench, guys. Julian. Oh, my so I'll let I'll let uh go first and introduce his team, point guard to center and then your bench. Yeah. So to point say guard. their name, the position, um 
and then the combination of skills again. Yeah, what they bring to the table. Yeah, what, so what, what this player is going to be for you. Yeah, starting at point guard, my squad, we got Mitch White. He's got some nutty shooting from that boy, Derek White, the cold dude, the cold hair, and Mitch Robinson's frame, seven-footer. At, you know, he's a big body. He's just blocking people, embarrassing people. So to have that combination, that's that's going to be big for the culture. At the shooting guard, we got Norman Powell, who's an insane shot creator, very underrated on a deep Clippers team. And then Jaden McDaniels, who is a all-NBA, um, all-defensive candidate. Okay. Uh, and that's our shooting guard. Now looking at our forwards, we got Jared Vanderbilt, who was one of the most impressive defenders of the playoffs, in my opinion. Insane versatility on that end, super big. And then Malik Monk, who Malik Monk, who is an absolute flamethrower versus the Warriors, honestly scared the shit out of Steve Kerr at the, it, like it was a sight to see. And now at our power forward, we got MPJ's catch and shoot abilities with the grip from New York's own Josh Hart. And to top it off for our starting lineup, we got our center, a combination of Brooke Lopez with the finesse and off the dribble shot creation of Austin Reeves, except for he's not a bitch. Um now looking at our bench. I have to totally put a warning on this video. <laughs> now looking at our bench, we got um, Eamon Wemby. Yeah, that's actually his name. It's a combination of the seven foot five French dude who's pretty good at basketball. And then Eamon Thompson, who's going to be one of the best playmakers, also super athletic guy. Um, that's our sixth man. We're going to follow it up with some more size and shot creation with a if we, um, keys to the street, um, Keontae George and Chet Holmgren combining to be the best versions of themselves and keys to the street. Um, and then to, to end our bench, we got Hunter Tyson's electric shooting. He's putting up summer league numbers with Jalen Pickett's just being a baller. That's our team. Nice. What a team, Clint. Well done. Uh -huh. Am I up? Yes. All right, so uh, at the point guard, we have Fat Poku, which is uh, <laughs> a, a strong Alexander Pokushevsky. At the shooting guard, we have Luki Steinards, who is the ultimate 3 and D player. Mm -hmm. At the small forward, we have Christ Mass, um, who is a combination of Jingles and Noel. And you graduate from Seton Hall. What? You graduate from Seton Hall. I feel like you would be like a you'd be from like a prep school in Jersey. Christ Mass. He's from out of Seton Hall. <laughs> I'm a yeah. Jew, dude. <laughs> um, at the power forward, we have White Men Can Jump, which is Davis Bertans with Derek Jones Jr.'s athleticism. Um, and at the center, we have Untragic Bronson, who is JaVale McGee with Emmanuel Quickly scoring package. Off the bench, um, my least creative name, I have Ants Scoop. Um who is a combination of Scoot, Scoot Henderson and Anthony Black. We have M M M no G, kind of like MMG, but without the G. Um, that is Marquise Noel and Leonard Miller. And finally, we have Gigi It's Over Walker, uh, who is a combination of Jairus Walker and Gigi Jackson. And that is my team. It will stomp all of your teams. <laughs> my white men can jump. Quint, yours cannot. Oh, uh, is, Good thing is, I don't have white man on my what team. What the hell? I, no, the library comes this <laughs> running like 15 You're chilling. Before, You're chilling. That's an N1. All right. Um, For my team, uh, at the point guard, I got J.J. Clarkson, which is a combination of Jones and Jordan, uh, Herb Jones and Jordan Clarkson. So uh, that'll be kind of a little bit of a scoring point guard um, that will also have clamps and uh, be able to guard kind of interior and um, out on the perimeter a little bit. <clears throat> so some good switchability there at the one to handle some of these weird point guards. I think that would be good. Um, uh, at the two, I have Cam Bull, which is a uh, Bull Bull-sized Cam Thomas, um, who is going to come in and really be a prominent uh, scoring threat for us at the two and take on some of these – you know, three and D prototypical guys and kind of try to switch things up a little bit. I think it'll be an interesting matchup with like uh the key Thynards and uh Jaden Powell. I think that'll be interesting. Jim Thomas to see. was the best player ever for three games. 
Yeah, I know he was. So it'll be interesting to see if he can replicate that once he gets the size of Bull Bull. Um, and then at the three, we got Bald Eagle, which is Alex Crusoe's defense and Aaron Gordon's vertical spacing. Um, basically just a really dominant lob threat. Um, you know, he'll probably have decent three-point shooting because Alex Russo and Gordon can both knock down a triple occasionally. Um, yeah. And the elite perimeter defense. Um, so that would be kind of the goal there at that position. Well, uh, you know, he, he's going to be, I don't know, I kind of think of like a more defensive, um, ver- defensively versatile version of Alex Russo now who can just dunk a little bit better because he's bigger. So, um, you know, that's what I kind of thought. And why not juice that player up and throw him out there at the three? I have the ultimate stretch four, and and his name is Boban Trey Murphy. <laughs> um, you know, the hyphenated last name goes crazy. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so it'll be, you know, a three-point shooting Boban. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how that kind of works out on the game. Um, Might be a little slow. Center, I needed somebody to go down there and get gritty. He's going to be a little small and undersized at the five, but I feel like it'd be really funny because he'll probably be the smallest center out here. Um, it's going to be Kavon Looney's rebounding and Joe Harris's shooting, and, you know, the kind of the height will fall somewhere in between Kavon Looney and Joe Harris, I imagine somewhere around six, seven. So we'll see how that guy does Player rebounding the ball. An open um, court. Tragic Bronson will eat him alive on the boards. Probably. So I, I <laughs> that one was probably my weakest pick, to be honest. Um, but off the yeah. bench, I playing guard for me off the bench of Camasar, uh, which will be a combination between Cam Whitmore scoring and Asar Thompson's defense. For Whitmore, obviously more of like an interior scoring. So I might do like Cam Whitmore's um like slashing more than his jump shooting, but he'll get a little bit of the jump shot just because Asar is not a great jump shooter. Um, Derek Lott. Oh, I got – sorry. Um, I got Brandon Lively, the second, um, and he is going to be playing like the forward and center for me. It's going to be Derek Lively's rim protection and Brandon Miller's scoring, but more shooting. Um, obviously, Brandon Miller's more of a shooter. So I think that'll be a really good like stretch four slash stretch five that we can throw out there um, when Javon Harris is getting inevitably cooked because uh, he can't play any defense. I don't, I wasn't thinking through the <laughs> Joe Harris, come on, Ludi combination. I just was thinking about shooting and I should have been a little bit more deliberate with that one. But I think I, I actually have the ultimate three and D player in this draft with Dick Taylor, which is Grady Dick. And Taylor Hendricks, um, playing the, nope, you know, the, two, the two through four. I think he's going to be a dog. So the worst type of Swift fan. Hey, he's a Dick fan, not a Swift fan. Same thing, man. All right, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> so that was interesting. Can you, can you guys not say that was a little fun? That was fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I it think a little, uh, little thought experience. Got us to recognize some role players, get out of yeah, our casual, monotonous NBA talk with the same 15 players in the league. Quinn What's doesn't that? know what role players are for the most yeah, part. That's what I kind of learned from this. Glad you guys took away that. And I just – you guys didn't even know who Chet Holmgren was, so that was that was nice. <laughs> again. You're right. I don't even know who Chet Holmgren is. I mean, you did – to be fair, you tried to draft Ben Simmons, and then you drafted the guy who got the Ben Simmons treatment. So it's – I respect it, you know? Yeah, he, the rookie of the year in his second year, right? I mean, he probably will though. He honestly, very likely. Yeah. If he scores like if he scores seventeen a game, like around sixteen or seventeen a game, or even That's just uh, is around like a couple of blocks, like he just plays such a unique role where there's not really going to be another guy taking his like volume. Probably. Shea Gilles Alexander. Come in and start right away. He has to. SGA is not a big man. First off, I mean, but he's the high usage player. Like, uh, and and so SGA Brady. will play better having a guy he can throw lobs to, and that could also cover his him defensively. Like I don't know, he just I think this. I'm I'm curious to see how like Jalen Williams, like the better one, plays. <laughs> um, because I feel like he's gonna he's a guy I think could be like an M- MIP level person. He's I just don't know. Super talented. I we'll see because like with I mean with Shea Giddy and now Chet. 
like there's a lot of, there, that's three guys who you want have the ball in their hands no exactly it's gonna be tough for him but not to say that he's not good enough to get how funny would it be if Shea was first team all NBA Jalen Williams wins most improved and Chet wins rookie of the year <laughs> and they have like Someone like freaking like Case and Wallace or like one of the guys off their bench just won six minutes. Like if they just sweep the awards. I think Case and Wallace, I mean, that's a sneaky six man of the year candidate. He's a baller, dude. Um, yeah. All right. The library's closed down soon. I got to get going. So um, it has been another great pod, guys. Um, and we'll uh, be back again next week. Um, let, me, let us know whose team you thought was the best. Um, drop that in the comment section or wherever you feel like it. Let us know on Twitter. There will be a video following this soon. Time to roll the dice. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been a good one, y'all. And we are off the call.